I want to talk to you. Um, it's kind of simplistic, but it could have really profound impact on you. It's something that happened to me. It happened gradually, but I didn't have anyone to talk to me like I'm trying to talk to you. And uh, the, my little talk is called Changing Direction. And for most of my early experience in, the, in walking with the Lord, uh, my heaven, my goal was to get to heaven and be with Paul and see the golden streets and all this was what I was taught. And uh, so uh, it, something didn't seem right about it all and I was frustrated because and so by pressing, pressing the issue, I began to discover something that I need to talk to you about, which is heaven is not a goal. Heaven is a destiny. If you die and you're a believer, you're going to heaven. You don't have any choice. <laughs> you got to go there. <laughs> and so if heaven is a destiny, then what is my direction? What is it that I need to move towards? And and, uh, I, and it's, it, it, this seems so simple that I'm almost embarrassed to say it, but uh, in, in John, Jesus says, I will take you to the Father. And so my sense of changing direction is not complicated. I cease trying to get to heaven and I start consciously going to the Father. I allow Jesus to take me to the Father. I use that as my objective. It is, it is a true um, scriptural objective is to know the Father. Now, God the Father is self revealed. You cannot know him unless somehow the Lord is, to, is free to reveal himself to you. So if I am begin to say, Father God, I want to know you. That's John 17, 3 says, to know him is, is eternal life. And I thought, oh, now I'm starting to understand it. To know him and to know Christ is to know what eternal life, Zoe, what that's about. Now, uh, a, a, a British scholar by the name of uh, uh, N.T. Wright has written a book, and, it's, and he explains carefully that a false emphasis on heaven injures, damages us in our walk with the Lord. Because the issue is, how do we behave? How do we live? What is our, what is our responsibilities on the earth? Matthew 6.10 says, uh, the will of God be done on the earth. Now, here's what I want you just to see these. So I'm sort of changing directions myself. And I'm reading John. And I've found these just a clear sequence of scripture and it's from John 8 14 he said Jesus answered and said to them if I testify about myself my testimony is not true but where I came from and where I'm going you do not know where I came from or where I'm going so then the disciple says in verse in 8 21 where are you going and he answers them, 822, where I am going, you cannot come right now. And I thought, of course, what he's saying is he is. So let, let, let me just read it. Uh, John 13, 33, little children, I am with you for a little while longer. You will seek me. And as I said to the Jews, now I say this to you. Where I am going, you cannot come. And I thought, wow, because he is making a statement. This is John 
14, 4. These are all from John now. I'm not trying to build anything. He said, and you know the way where I am going. And we have so altered the way and made it the way to heaven. Jesus in John, in John 16, 5 says these words clearly. Now I am going to him that sent me. And it all started to break open for me. He is going to the Father, and He wants to take me to the Father, and I want to instruct you, if you can hear me, let heaven take care of itself. Change directions from heaven to knowing the Father, obeying Him, and learning how to please him.